does turn into a slow paced farm game, I think they still have options. Um, I, I like how Nat, this is your first start event when you're saying if it goes past, you know, a <laughs> fast winter 45, 50 minutes. So for you, for you, a 40 minute game is a quick game. I know. Yeah. It's insane that I've just become accustomed to these eight, eight and a half hour days already. <laughs> I feel a little bit sorry for you. <laughs> oh, look, you gotta learn at some point, but I'll let you guys jump into game number one. I'm very excited to see how long this game really does go for. Prepare for battle. Well, here we are, Black. It is elimination time. You know, we cast those yep. up bracket matches tonight. TNC, amazing Dota. The best team, perhaps the two best teams in the region. Obviously, a lot at stake, spawn the grand finals, but a lot more at stake here. This is to stay alive. TI-10 qualifier. Yeah, no more extra life. Well, I guess in a BO3 you sort of have one extra life, but no more serious loss allowed. So it's going to be even more intense than what it already was. But boom. And especially Execration. They've been here before. They've done it in the past. Here I am. And yeah, there you are. nice. He smoke and smoke. What is the right verb for that? Is there one? Oh, you mean like when you reveal the smoke? Yeah, he, I, I, I mean, you would just say I broke the smoke, but yeah. I unsmoked them. <laughs> you revealed it. I think it's just. Okay, so so it's just the. I'm going with reveal. The easy way. Okay, fine. I like Dakota standing here, not letting BDZ scout for the ward because he can reveal the fact there is a ward here. Uh, so being there, yeah. It's a bit harder. Here we go, though. Contest over on this bottom bounty rune. Boom. He's going to make a play for these runes, arrow. dodge the arrow, but he doesn't have the dive. He's gone for the fire spirit, so he could be in some trouble if they want to chase for it. But Talos has 10 seconds to wait for a Wraith by Blast, so they're not going to chase. Yep. Two, two rune split as well. And this Ember pick, I like quite a bit. Like, it lands decently against TA. I still give the lane favor to TA. Simply because his level 1 melt strike is too good. Minus right. 5 armor. Yeah, I thought that was lane dodging. It looked like FBZ was moving towards the bottom, but then he changed his mind and it's not going to the bottom. It seemed for a second they wanted to swap lanes. I could try then, huh? Hmm. Who actually wins this? I feel like Task, Luna, Phoenix should win this, right? If they just change the lanes. Let's see if uh, maybe the Task comes down there as well. Uh, looks like he's just pulling the creep wave right now to get a fast two. And then TP down there to just get a quick first spot or so. But yeah, Mars definitely beats Puck 1v1 on the side lane like this. So the lane setup, I'm, I'm actually quite a fan of. Oh, and Korea gets found the bottom lane. That's going to make this lane a little bit harder without that extra Sal. I'm super, do, you, mm -hmm. do you think Tusk needs to this creep wave pull when it is a 2v1 lane? Uh, I mean, he's just doing it to enable himself and get a fast level 2. So he can rotate bottom and kill there. But it's definitely going to gimp his Puck a little bit. So he will have to make really good use of this level two quickly. Telling his puck like, well, puck's also getting to pressure Nico in the top lane. He's getting very low in this Martin. A lot of harass coming in, but yeah, like you say, it is making the puck's life a bit harder with the experience. So he gets two TP's bottom straight away, and should be first, but yep. not in. They weren't ready for this one. First, the all their yeah. now who seeing wants what was going to be, be happening. This is really the power of. These plus four heroes, they just pull the creep like that. Uh, Earth Spirit can do a very similar thing. We just then TP to the tri lane. They're under leveled, of course, because they're tri laning. And suddenly you just come there, kill the guy, and it yeah. could potentially just win them the lane. Yeah. And Mirana was arrowing the range creep out of range, giving Wraith Queen solo XP, but a level two Wraith Queen doesn't really. isn't a power spike at all. Like, how skip yeah. connect is called a lot. Wraith Queen's not a hero that actually gets much stronger with these. You Another will get the setter. They've got the Wraith King caught in the nice shots here. They're looking to follow this one up. The Lucent Beam mini stun. Talos could be in some trouble. Nice arrow dive. from BDZ and the dive will slow him down further. There's the level 2 strength. Kezku's willing to dive for this one. The Thurzal looks like he will. Hyde gets the kill with the boots. He should be able to escape here. Oh, the Courier? No, there's so much gold in there. Oh. Radiance Courier. Fortunately, was too much on chasing. Didn't micro the Courier. Yeah, but a lot of solo experience here for the Luna under the tower. If Tusk wants to give it to him. Nah, he's like, nah, you don't need it. But he gives him a healing self in exchange. He's a good merchant. In the trades. 
how is mid lane looking? Mikoto is actually owning quite hard. As I said, it, he drops very low. But Mikoto is also one of the strongest mid laners in all of Dota. He didn't really get the chance to shine yet, like on an international stage, but his mechanical skill is really good. Uh, I've said it, I think, on Twitter and stuff. He's, like, uh, he's a player I'm surprised hasn't you been picked up by, like, an international team yet or approached by someone. Yeah. Boom has done a good job holding on to him because he is a star in the making. Really has been a star. Yeah. Like, I speak to him quite a bit on Steam. Like, the biggest problem with him is that he's not comfortable with English. Like, I'm sure he's had a lot of offers already. It just, if you can't communicate in a game like Dota, obviously it's Never very difficult. School, give him. I'm sure Indonesian Dota fans are grateful that he's here because he is a big part of why Boom's gone this far, as is the whole team. Um, you know, FPZ's offlane has been really solid. Dreamer Cell being back on the team, they're looking like the Boom of all, where they have had some success in the past, but often the case with this team is they look good, but then something just goes wrong in those big clutch moments. They sometimes lose those crazy late games, so... Yeah. You can change that story in these qualifiers. I think that's actually their biggest uh, weakness. Like, yeah. even though they try to go for late game a lot, I think that's their biggest weakness, their late game. Oh, the mid game team fights are really, really good, most of the time. See, I mean, this is a less late game oriented draft, so we'll see if they uh, play accordingly. Obviously, right now, it's just the laning stage, so it's not C exactly what they have in mind for their playstyle wise but um they're dropping the they want to play He's there with a dive to slow to help him out nice arrow see land you can see the career comes in as well they may lose another career bdz Radiant trying to leap over and get it but the fire spirit slow not enough to keep the career alive and then also luna and Mirana are going to die in the process yeah i really feel like as though these courier kills kind of lost boom the lane down there or rather salvage the lane for execration because after that first but it did not look good for them they managed to kill how many couriers now? Three? three? Yeah. Four? They... I think three. Yeah. Killed the Phoenixes, that was bringing the Salve at the start, they killed the Tuss on the tower, and then I think they just killed the Lunas. No, 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 no. It was just gold, really. It didn't actually change the lane, but... Salve at the start makes a big difference, and... Yeah. Also, and every courier kill is also a creep, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. For these dire supports, you aren't hitting creeps, they just get three free creep kill speed. Yeah, Puck is still holding his own on the top lane. He's, he's actually TPing back to base, just one creep shy of level 6, so he can't really make a rotation happen just yet. And no boots either. But of course, he's a Puck, so he's gonna be orbing back to lane. Well, Rave King is really rich. Yeah, he's top net worth, he's having a great time getting all the creeps in the world. Phase boots up early so they can keep playing aggressive. Going for the second point in the Wraith Fire Blast into the tri lane. Tri lane then. It does feel like this tri lane's been a success, Black. Yeah. They're doing very well there. Luna is shut down. And Wraith King is completely free farming. The Probably needs some rotation here from either the Puck or the Ember soon. That Puck? You mentioned maybe his lane being hurt by the Tusk early wave pull. He's losing his lane. Mars is... ...size CS advantage up here. Yeah, I mean, he basically started the lane with a whole creep advantage, right? A like creep wave. Get the race thing. Nice Ooh, initiation, nice. but the counterplay could be there. They want this Luna, but he's got the stick charges, as well as the raindrops, so it's not enough to keep him alive. And the leap in, Mirana has an offensive earn charge, doing some good damage here, but no more leap charges for a couple of seconds, mean. Yeah, feels like as though every time they get a kill, they need to dive really deep. They were tanking two creep waves and a couple of Wraith King skeletons. They just dealt way too much damage. Even more damage than the heroes, I think. Like this from the creation, the TA falling back to the jungle for a little bit just to get those neutral items. But Kodo doing the same on his Ember, but those neutral items could make a difference, especially in like what seems to be this aggressive trial and versus trial, and it looks like it made changes. Finally, there is going to be the first big rotation. It's not an offensive one. It's just Pelos on the right King saying, Ah, oh, I'm going to come top to farm. But also, maybe look to make a play. I spear into Arena. Nails the puck. Followed up by Wraith Fire Blast. Have they got the damage? It looks like it with Makoto rotating up here too. But FBZ, he barely gets away with the help of the bottle charges. They'll turn it around. They'll kill Nico and Pelos. Pelos dice is really bad. 
Yeah, he just TP'd up here, and they should be able to chase him down, but Koda was ready for this one with the Sunray to help do some damage here. Palos trying to get out of this one, but Koda's got no fire remnants, but Palos, I don't think he can really Dyer's survive. They should be able to chase him with another attack. orb. We'll find out soon. Oh, Radiant's he's juking with the phase boot. Maybe he just leaves. Wow. Wow, okay. I did not expect him to get out of there. Meantime, Tass died at the bot rune to the TA. A lot of traps have been popped there. But this gives a lot of space to Luna at least. And Rave King was busy running around for a good half minute. Good old possessed mask on Luna too. Of course. What what else would he find? <laughs> yeah, there was a sick play by Mars actually. He speared first and then arena. Pretty rare play. Not a lot of people would feel comfortable doing it, I feel like. I thought Rave King was just keeping up their farm, but the fact yeah, they actually found a way to make a play didn't work on the puck, but it sure as hell looked pretty and was well executed. Yeah. And was really close too. Yeah, like what, 100 health? Freed up some of these lanes for some of these supports to try to get some experience taking over the mid lane, but continuing to farm down bottom. Doesn't want to go jungle just yet. Has three passive, I guess because it was this tri lane, but Probably looking for those slaves to be leveled up with just the one point in Lucent, no point getting any kind of early eclipse. He's going as greedy as you can, almost. He went boots before Mom, but he's going Mask of Madness straight away. To be able to farm the jungle efficiently and get ahead of this Wraith King potentially. That's one advantage this Lucent have over the Wraith King is that farming speed. Uh, not over the TA. Looking at this TA, 5k net worth sitting on top. And yeah. Uh, you know, that's just TA things, I guess. You can't really do much about that. TA with full access to the jungle, and because of this trial and trialing, none of these radiant heroes have been able to really block the map to block the ancient test TA farm. Yeah. Interesting skillable tool from the TA. Usually we see only one that will melt, but he's maxing it before the Psyblade. He gets a lot of attack range, of course, from the talent as well as uh, Dragonlands. It's pretty unusual. Psyblade scaling, like it goes up only by 50 range each level, so maybe the way it scales is Dyer's quite as value. Is under no. Here's a DD as well. One spear is gonna net a kill here. The meld is also nice for farming those ink. It is. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Patiently waiting. It is Radiant's just a tough level 6 already on the support tower. tower's place to be as they are looking to trade these offlane towers. Tusk is trying to TP out, recognizing this is not a safe place to be. He's out Dyer's <laughs> top tower has fallen. Hey, fresh mid. No one's here right now to defend this one, and they have got a shift over the fight around. Nico has to TP though on this. They're actually smoking him from behind, yeah. Has fallen. I think, boom, as soon as they lose bottom, they recognize it's no longer safe, so the caution game and they're going to fall back they're doing luna things farming the triangle but your extra creation going to go with this smoke like dire are scanning aggressive they are just looking to clear out their own jungle they scan the high ground allowing nico to walk up radiant's bottom tower is Somebody under bit. attack there is a ward. He's going to get spotted. I believe the ward should... Oh, maybe he's just out of range here. NPZ's going to be careful. Makoto too. These heroes both have escaped away from NPZ. So they were able to stay. That's what we spoke about. It was so hard to catch them pre Yule Scepter from the Mars. It's just like a random arrow really that can kill them. Tower is under attack. It'll be a tough ask, but so far they have gotten away with the greed pretty well. Okay, ahead. Are you surprised they didn't pick some kind of more like, you know, lion type reliable lockdown? It, it was a first pick puck up. Uh, yeah. I mean, it has been all about stuns basically, right? And being able to lock heroes down. That's why lion is so popular. And they didn't pick any of it here. <laughs> Would have loved to see a lion. What did they pick instead? AA, right? And then the Mirana. They picked AA before they saw anything. So. Yeah, I know. That was first pick. But the, the Mirana was the, yeah. the questionable one. Maybe lion was panic. I think most of the second phase bans are on carries, but there may have been a... Radiant or scan. Yeah, potentially. Also don't quite remember. Yeah, we'll to make their own play. Luna, of course, is going to sit back, farm the jungle, has the maxed out Moonglaze and Luna Blessing now. It's level 10, still no points in the Eclipse. Dyer's okay, there we go, gets the first point in the Eclipse. Attack. Is it worth it, though, without Beam? I think so. I thought he was going to get his, like, his talent or something, get the 15 attack speed going. Um, yeah. Now every Eclipse Beam is 75 damage, it's very painful. 
he'll start leveling the Lucent Beam now because I think he will want to. He's going to want to team fight soon. I, I think Boom are feeling like their draft it comes online around that 20 minute mark with Luna having Anta plus I guess they got some Dragon Lance in there as well. But like Dragon Lance, Manta, BKB, that's when they want to have an Aegis and be Gaia's going high. Top tower is under attack. Oh yeah, certainly. The draft has a really good power spec at the time. And it's always very scary to go late game against an A. Because the satanic just is worthless, it doesn't do anything against the hero. Big smoke up, three heroes. Mars, no blink dagger or anything, so this is again Puck, they can't kill him. They're looking at mid lane. All the Puck TP mid and cancel though, so perhaps they're making this play because they know bottom TP is on is cooldown, attack. which is, you know, potentially. Luna? Well, they're actually going back to the jungle looking for the Luna, but they're going wrong direction. Top tower is under attack. That's wrong, but they have an idea. Maybe where FBZ is. They are pinging him. Can they get... Oh, dodges the spear. Is there any follow-up stun? Not really, unless they hit a miracle arrow. Radiant FBZ jaunts away. He's... Killed. Okay, BTZ goes for the courier instead. Pretty good courier kill. Was a TP on it. Now he doesn't have one. He's probably just going to go back to base. But yeah, it's just almost impossible. Like, Puck is always going to react to those spears. It's too slow. Not a whole lot you can do about it. Except there's gonna be item rush here. Yeah, looks like Ember is going first item BKB. Okay. Alana's like very aggressive. What do you make of the Wraith King build? We're not seeing any of that kind of old school Radiance type build armlet link. What's queued up? Yeah, I think that's only because he's playing with a TA in his team. And you don't, like you already have a really greedy draft, you don't want to itemize in a greedy way too, because then after that, suddenly you just have no chance of team fighting at all. So I like this quite a bit, and this is usually the other build that we see, right? It's either this or the Radiance build. PA? Oh, she already finished her Desso. Desso, Dragonlance, minute 15, pretty rich. We know the Pretty closest average. in net worth is still over a thousand gold behind, so it's just been constantly farming those ancients while Dream Myself you know, had that slow start, died twice in lane, has been free farming since then, but perfect game yeah. that, though it has been obviously a very good one. It's it's extra crazy, that's all they can do is sit back and farm, and they are ahead in this farm battle, Radiant's but they can't make plays because of how elusive Huck and Ember are right now. They have Mars Jules now, so they can okay. set up reliably on the Ember as well as Puck. And so far the big loser is really the Puck. He's very underfarmed. He's actually going Witchblade first from the offlane role. Very uncommon. Usually you would just be going for a Blink Veil or something like that. More itemizing like a mid Puck. He hasn't finished it. It actually looks like he may go for the Blink first. He, oh, he's considering the Blink. Obviously. Okay, no, he does finish. I say that. He, he, he cancelled his TP. Okay. Oh. That's the second one. FBZ, I mean, this, I don't know for sure, but I feel like FBZ not really known for his buff. Even when it was an on-play hero, it was not something FBZ was playing all that much. Yeah, I would agree. He's more the Mars Doom kind of player. AA might be the first victim of this Witchblade pack here. But yeah, the, the problem now is a little bit that they don't have any great initiation because the puck chose to go or this uh, damage route rather than the utility route. Radiance bottom and he's quite far away from his blink dagger now. Let's see if Execration can make some moves using this Yule Scepter initiation. They've got the Wraith King link armor online, so they've got that way to start a fight. They may just be the ones themselves going for Roche. They'd love a pickoff first, and with Vision in the top lane, they're going to see this Tusk. Should be a freebie kill if they want it. Could be arena. I mean, that speaks to this kind of game. What the kind of game this is. If you're willing to throw an arena ulti just for a support tusk, you know they're not expecting much action. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like we sound like a broken record at this time, but all these games are looking like this. It's really strange, <laughs> like what what happened at this uh, qualifier. It started off really aggressively and fights all over the place. The deeper we get into the tournament, the longer they drag out, and the less fights there are. 
He always does hit Rosha. There's no arena, but the spear actually doesn't get him out of the Yule Scepter. Gets the coil out onto Nico and the Sunray follow up, trying to heal up the pocket near the shovel there as well. They get Mars down low, but there's not enough damage. He's got the regen room, but I don't think he's going to get a chance to pop it. And Makoto with the BKB side of this over Corrosion. He's just doing a lot of damage on the front line. Should be able to kill Palace one with the armor level, maybe not. Goes for the Searing Chains inside of this. He's still toggling even through the Searing Chains. Palos is able to stay alive with the armor toggles. Nicely played by the Wraith King. Yeah, that was a good 4 5 toggles. Which is not easy. For the Fire Spirit, through the Chains, as you said. Well played by him. Are they gonna go back to Roshan? There's no egg. Mars is back up in 10. Still Eclipse, though. You don't have to worry about here. Link stuns with an arrow fall and a an nice blast. This should be a dead Luna. And they've got it. That's more paint dividends here. The Miranda's going to pay the price. There is going to be revenge here coming out Boom's way. Kalos, maybe in over his head, doesn't have the BKB yet. Yeah, Blink. And he get out. Oh, nice timing there for him. For him. Yep. FBZ knew what he was trying to do. Kalos, Armor Cogwin once again. Can he do it a second time? He's staying alive for now with the Mars Arena rotation. They get the buck. FBZ goes down and with TA showing up as well. The Race King, he survives. He blinks away back to safety. Right now, the one in trouble on the top. Doesn't have any of his spells up. Needs to get into the trees. Needs to juke. Successfully get himself out of there. The spear from Nico fishing, but. What do you make an other look like a completely broken item? <laughs> <laughs> Looking, you know. Like, uh, what was it? Like, PI6? Husker armlet toggles, you know? Yeah. Want some Arteezy lifestyle toggles? Yep. <laughs> a tune? <laughs> Not a player we should be bringing up. I think he got disqualified from TI qualifiers. Was yeah, it he had good toggles. <laughs> <laughs> was it him? Was it, was it really him doing the toggle with no black? <laughs> well, that is the question, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's fine. I, no, no. I still had to Good. press it. <laughs> Something he said, I'm not sure what the explanation was. He just pushed one button instead of two, like most people who are toggling. Yeah. I push two buttons, he pushes one. That's balance right there. <laughs> I love it's that like, explanation too. It's like, it's like, you get ballista, I don't get ballista, you know, it's the same thing. Well, happens. Like what do you want, man? This is, this is how it goes, bro. <laughs> oh, man. We have definitely had a lot of... Funny incidents in Dota. Yeah. And the funniest explanations of why it happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I still remember there was a Meepo script that he was like, I, I didn't know it's not allowed. <laughs> what do you mean? It was definitely kind of like the Wild West days where, you know, some of that stuff was not. I mean, it wasn't written in rules, but it's like, you have like unspoken rules, yeah. right? Players. Everybody respects. Arrow set up with the Yule Scepter down bottom. The Marana going for a Yule's as well, but he gets. You got clipped by the. Oh. Wow. You got clipped by the blast. The ice pass flying over. I love this from the Marana. We haven't seen really any Yule's Marana in a long time. This used to be the go to first Dyer's item on Marana, but this is a game where you need that setup. And BDZ recognizes it. Very so he didn't BKB? You can definitely BKB out of that. Are fortified. Steve wasn't top maybe under expecting to die there. He wanted to hold on to it. Yeah. Radiant maybe didn't expect the Rave King follow up there. And they're looking to punish this Rave King perhaps. His BKB's coming out of the career, but it's not here yet. Can they Armless, though. get in here fast enough? Yeah, the Armless, it's a better BKB. They jump in with the coil. He breaks the coil now. He's alive, Tom. First life, can they kill him a second time? The career's gonna be here soon, and Wraith King's just gonna look to turn and fight with the Supernova. And we're gonna come out of the hide. He goes down to the Wraith King. Back to the high ground, and back to safety. Lars looks to turn and fight. Oh, the oh. He lost the BKB, and the blast hit him right in the forehead. Oh, Execration still the high ground vantage, still jumping and looking to fight even Wraith King, he just gets hit. And there's BKB! One ray damage was too much here as well, Palos. He can't get back to safety, the Empress Spirit zipping in. Toggling! I'm just gonna be if he needs to be giving toggle. Toggle back? No, no, no toggles this time. Makoto gets the kill. And they also got the Mars as well. On the run is RR, whose Moonlight Shadow is gonna be protecting him. Marana helping bail them out a little bit there. They knew he had no BKB, but they still chose to commit. The Eclipse absolutely shredded him. That's a very big overcommitment there. 
That was not necessary. I said the puck killed it. The puck was like at the tower. I did not see actually. Yeah, it's a very big pick off, which leads to the, the team fight victory there. Joe. Game so far in the Tempest Spirit. Deep blinking and looking for a Yule, but. Pulled by a Puck. Oh. Oh. It could be a nice three to set the summary pulling out. Puck gets off the short zone with the snowball save. Hyde helping bail his Puck out. He orbs to the low ground. And now Hyde has set his team up for success with a Mirana kill and the save on the Puck. He does die in the process as Taylor shows up looking for revenge. Takes out the Luna. And that's the execration. Bounce back. Well, that Luna with Mom activated and Melt Strike from the TA, who also had a DD. He just got imploded. Now TA going to be able to take out this T1 mid tower possible. Deny? Deny it? No. Radiance middle no tower has fallen. Aura is like, okay. Radiance bottom support, tower I'll take it. is under yeah. attack. One of the rare occasions where support takes the tower. Well, yeah, he has to be a little more careful here on Dream or Cell until he gets his BKB. He's very squishy, especially Dyer's when he uses mom. Tower has been denied. Level 2 egg online already though from the Phoenix. Pretty high level. Yeah. I guess the one yeah. downside of the Yield Morana build is that Orna is good at killing this egg. It's not like that Treads BKB Dyer's build we've been seeing. So under attack. Egg no, could they have no good egg kill actually. <laughs> TA potentially. Like you're definitely gonna outrange it, but if you're busy hitting the egg, it means you'll probably lose the team for it anyways. Oh nice. Face shift onto the spear. Did he did he mistime it or? Ooh. Must have. It's, it's not super easy. This guy is standing on top of him, yeah. I, I guess he just didn't get... So you can always get that spear out of the Yules if you time it. Every, every time. Yeah. Because there's like this... Oh! Zero... Oh. He gets you speared him! Busy. As he was TPing, he's still probably gonna live here, but Arrow... Gonna oh. scan him out. Doesn't hit him. FBZ has... Another him. spear in three! I don't think... You can actually here? Puck around <gasps> out. Still juking, the trees have been cut down here. Oh, but yeah, I, I, I think you're just wasting your time trying to kill this puck. It, it was nice. It does stop boom. Maybe they were looking for like a smoke play, so without the puck, they are going to be forced to. Puck has to walk back to base to get mana now. Yeah, potentially. Pretty interesting play. <laughs> Plays all around, really. Like, they thought he was stuck around, and he did. That's what the TP's already catches him. Joey finished his BKB and his Hurricane Pike also. He's very, very rich. As the growth Luna needs BKB. The growth was nice for killing the egg as well as extra attack range. So. Oh, they scout the Luna with the trap. Thinking about immediately. They're gonna make a move. Free no. BKB, but looks like that, that just gives them the confidence perhaps to take over this bottom side of the map. They want this tier 2 tower so they can get the outpost, I imagine. Yeah, and they have Wraith King Skeletons to do the job for them, so it should Radiance go down momentarily. Right, How's Luna neither looking? Team, neither team's actually taken Roche yet. But Luna's dipping down it? No way! Yeah, cancel that! Radiance oh. bottom tower has fallen. I, I got a little bit scared there. <laughs> you're, you're in a car, suddenly you were living vicariously through this Luna saying, Radiance No, 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 no. <laughs> That's how you throw game one. Oh no, yeah. This is the TI qualifier, you can't allow yourself to do this kind of stuff. BKB is now online though, so he's gonna be very strong. Still has to be a little bit careful though. Like when Mom is activated and Melt Strike is on, he's gonna go into the single digit armor. This TA does not care about the BKB. Wraith King does pretty heavy, heavy physical damage at this point too. He's going AC, so even more minus armor. It's kind of. Looking around. Yeah, with the break, they can throw out the puck. Dream coil. One to two here. Mirana just trying to stay on the edge. Actually, he breaks it. Perhaps Hyde pulls up with the Warren Punch. Doesn't break down the Mirana. Meanwhile, on the back line. Nico throws up. Some damage. Udo gets the BKB off and managing to juke them with the fire. Ice blast. Goes to dodge this one. Doesn't get caught by it. And it's Palace being cut by the Searing Chain. Dream is all just going to loot away. It was a very good coil break by the Yule Scepter from Nico. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. All right, they, they need some neutral. I see this Ember with an Ooten Heart at 27 minutes. That, that's got to change. What do they have? He has a Nether Shawl, which is kind of 
Bad against TA and Rave King, yeah. unfortunately. I mean, minus armor, yeah. I don't think anybody wants that Nether Shawl. <laughs> yeah, the first time I see Nether Shawl not being Radiant picked up because usually the stats are pretty broken. Vanish. Now they get some good items. Quickening charm. Elven tuning is perfect. Ember. Yeah, I would, I would give quickening to Ember. You can make much better use of the cooldowns if you like. We'll get some more items. We'll see what comes their way as Execration make an aggressive play towards the top, but able to connect on anything. Trying to take advantage of those BKB Dyer's cooldowns. Top but tower is under attack. It. Boom, all itemizing, getting like plate mails. Makoto's got a Shiva's Guard queued up to go with that plate mail, so I imagine. Luna's gonna go very stat heavy to kind of try and protect herself with additional armor. Has the Scotty queued up, so they know what to go. Tusk has taken the pal and the sword. I've not seen that like ever. Holding it for Luna, right? No, actually, Luna wants the evasion. It seems. Yeah, I thought Ember might want to have the pal and sword though. It's way better than the Ocean Heart. Tusk just going up for the plus twenty damage. I guess, and he heals a little bit more from Wand. The Dream Coil out, Snowball is there as well as a Blink away. They're just trying to disengage on the boom side. Just going to perhaps block some of the supporting cast from helping out Palos, who is kind of burning low, does have the BKB that he's holding on to. Meanwhile, the Mars has to get back to safety, doesn't want to throw out his BKB preemptively. RR has a sell from the shovel. You, buddy. Earn charges, sounds, got what we need for good It really seems to go for early because definitely both strats do, but it seems like now is the time where they're deciding this is where Roche added. Yeah, usually the second Roche dies at this point. There's gonna be smoke action. No one's dead. Oh, did you see? But into Marana instantly leaps away before Hyde can get him with the war. Punchy blinked in looking for it. Arrow. Nah, you're not just gonna be hitting Roshan, right? They are. What? Other way, fly. Ice Blast coming in is gonna be a big one. Amplify the earn healing. Like I'm just trying to get that healing going, but as Palo leaps, leaps onto the high ground, the snowball is there, but this tusk perhaps is gonna die once he comes out of it. Gets the blink out. He's still alive with the help of the spider legs. Palo's committed to all the BKBs pop, and the Kodo is there at follow-up Sunny. He gets caught by a Yule Scepter, but he gets a side of fist off before the spear can hit him. Kodo back to safety. And that useful skip to give him some extra strength. Yeah, this Luna is feeling very strong. This BKB is still online. He's the only one that has BKB available right now. And TA. They may just go they feel the comfortable now. They still have Arena. Side low mana. A8 TP's back to base to get the mana for the Ice Blast. He's throwing it for the base. Arrow gonna go flying through. Doesn't clip anything. Ice Blast is... Now they know it's on cooldown, but it did clip the Luna, so... Dream is like, nope, get me out of there. Now, Ice Blast is just such a nasty effect. <gasps> like, it's definitely top... two, I think, in... Oh my god, I hate seeing that on myself. The other one would probably be Hex. Or maybe Shadow Demon Purge. Be annoying too. You stand off around the Roshan pit. Ember is able yeah. to go and push out and defend bottom lane because of the remnant, so... Roche's dying fast. Yeah, with this TA. They've got their BKBs back up on the Execration side. They need to get back Radiant over here, the Ember. Is under attack. Play and call gonna be. Got Dreamers on the mid lane. They may just be giving up this Roshan. They've got to get in there. No way. Out of that, they hit with the Fire Spirit. That's going to slow this down a little bit. And the Kodo is back now. Roshan very low. So they've got here at the right time to perhaps steal Roshan if they win this fight. Blink it from Palace. He goes in looking for the Luna. They spear to follow up the stun. The Ice Blast is going to clip him. That's a big Ice Blast. The Phoenix now in trouble as well. Gets blown up. Does a buyback. We'll have to commit it immediately. The Boom may be going to have to wait out this Ice Blast before the Luna's ready to fight. It's a great job, but do not want to go into the pit. It's arena on cooldown. The biggest team fight ability yeah. though. They all have BKBs. The Luna is sitting at a little bit low health. No earn charges. Radiant are scanning. Ah, it's a tough call to make. Like this Luna could just implode. Yeah, exactly. Ask a will give you some life still, but it's also gonna make you very, very vulnerable. 
I'm still hoping that maybe the Luna goes on the front lines and has that sun ready to back him up. Dream of Cell, there we go. Life's still a bit in the mid lane. Rave King has DD though. He's gonna crit for like a thousand. I don't know if they know that he has a DD. Well, now they do. They're going back in the pit again. That double damage is scouted out. He's stuck. The stun ray is there. Yeah, he's stuck a bit, taking a lot of damage. Get back out of the pit. Kenny Kozo wants to do we go in or not, and they get a, you know, second to the side here. The BKB's come in for the race. He's going to BKB go for it. Mikoto's looking for the steal. Who's getting the ace? He's still on the ground. He's going to kill him. Mikoto's getting the ace. And he get out as well. He's going to die immediately. They kill the race team once as well. They may just get the kill the second time. Then I'm careful. The arena goes down the spear. Catches Mikoto on the respawn. Can they keep Mikoto alive? He gets stunned as well. The summary heal is not enough. They lose the coded, but they kill Wraith King in the process, and they're chasing, looking for more. This Luna Eclipse absolutely shredding them. And they've caught Mars with the Yule Scepter. Triple Mars kill. goes down. Boom may have lost their Ember, but securing the Aegis, they tipped the Ember. They're happy with what he did. He set them up the prize for is success. Mine. What happened there, Roche, by the way? That Aegis was sitting there on the floor for like a good three seconds. Neither Wraith King nor Ember picked it up right away. Yeah. They were like... Right kicking each other or something. Like, ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Somebody, yeah. It's it like somebody was body blocking it. Yeah. Yeah, Rave King committed his BKB on his first life for the Roshan. He respawns, eats a full eclipse, he just dies straight away. Dyer's no chance to fight back without that attack. BKB. Maybe the pause hurting him a little bit there, execration, overthinking things. Dyer's yeah, they try to Also, of course, giving time died. for them. It's like so many players trying to play like based on, you know, attack. instinct, whereas in that moment it's like, okay, they overthink it. Yeah. And the BKB was pretty unnecessary. You will set there, set up. Oh, error just off the mark. But that probably wouldn't have killed him. <laughs> you don't think Morana can solo kill the Luna? Uh, close. Like, <laughs> just needs like 10 arrows. Ascari finished now on Luna. Actually makes her really tanky, sitting 3k health. That was just Roche number one, by the way. Usually, he's <laughs> yeah. purely a Roche. And neither team really ends up with the Aegis since it gets popped right away. So perhaps we go back to the status quo, which is, you know, both teams farming their different areas of the map. We're headed like this. Yeah. Do you favor either team, or is this just going to be another, you know, wild, whoever plays better takes the game kind of situation? Late game, I actually think Raiden is quite a bit stronger, simply because they have so much mobility. And you don't really want to itemize into like a Hex on TA or a Bissell on Rage King like you could, but other items are just more efficient. So they kind of have to litter their item slots with inefficient items to be able to play against them late game, which is why I give them the edge. Pulling out a perhaps more well-rounded draft or looking to take advantage, they swept up. Nova, another spell that's, you know, the longer this game goes, you look at level 3 Supernova, perhaps get an Ag set for some save later, or just even high level talents, and it gets very difficult for extra traits. Yep, and Mikoro now with the Shiva's Guard should be pretty survivable. And then the Kane rune to boot, one of the best runes on any spirit, really. All these spirits love these Arcane runes. But yeah, like as you said, we are. We have the vengeful spirit. That then you're all that thought. We're in the mid lane. We have the coda, but the arrow follow up comes a little bit too late to chain stun him. Vengeful comes in, they get the call. This top one is the Mirana though. Maybe not the best target. Is the arena coming to play? Going to force the coda to BKB. He's going to chase away out of the arena. Instead, it's going to be the tusk caught inside. He gets pulled up. Now the egg, the next target. Can they bring it down in time? It's going to be close. They do manage to bring it down. Scream this on the front line. Throws up the eclipse and just looks to right click down power on the race team. They'll kill him at least once. Off timing. And again, the second time with the TA dead. Palace in all sorts of trouble. Aro trying to bail him out with a four stop. Is that going to be enough? He is. Going to be chased down here, but Kodo gets speared back in with the searing chain. Talos gets found, and Radiance Miko needs to scurry his way out of there with the spider legs. Yeah, they do end up killing the egg, but it put them in such a bad position that the Luna Glaives just absolutely obliterated them. They also had to expand their BKBs for it. As soon as they run out, the Eclipse just kills TA no problem whatsoever. He itemized into a lot of damage, but he's not very survivable without BKB. 
Yeah. Luna pushing high ground. If they get a T3 yeah, tower, be a side or two. Yeah. One tier three tower means rack because you don't want to come near those bouncing glaives. And right now, if they right. want to defend even a second lane, Dyer's they're going to need to back this race thing, I believe. So fast. <laughs> they do buy back with the spear in. They go in on the Luna. The snowball save is on the ice blast. Down. Okay. down. Luna has to go back to the low ground. It's level 25. Doesn't want to maybe go in with the ice blast and take on, but it's about to wear off. So Luna. It's a re-engage back from the high ground. Doesn't have to trust Noble save anymore. Another Wraith Fire Blast is there, but Makoto, he's on the back lines. He's chasing down these supports. Coil onto the Tirana. Not the coil perhaps FPG was looking for, but the Luna just goes to finish off the rack. Goes for the BKB TP out as the Wraith King reincarnation is bombed. Makoto left alone. Does he have the tools to escape this one? Answer is no. Gets brought down. Left alone. They get the racks. Suffer a couple of losses in, in doing so. Yeah, he's over aggressive. He was just in front of the stairs at the fountain there. I don't That's think you have any business being there. <laughs> this is deja vu from the last time. Oh, Luna is pushing out all the way bottom. Make a card here. Oh, they have run, 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 run. No BKB. Hurricane Pike Ooh. away. Ice Blast is going to be placed perfectly. TA still chasing. Has a full Puck. I don't think they maybe realized the BKB cooldown. That is Puck. Yeah, Puck was there to sort of interrupt them. So. At least they got something. Yeah, but, but, but Puck really Radiant's saved his Luna there. Is under attack. Uh, good job, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Tower is under attack. I mean, it was, yeah, the Luna kind of put them in a tricky position there with that, pushing out that bottom lane when they don't Radiant's have the outpost. Tower the outpost is a little bit different. Very curious about the talent decision here from Nico as well. He didn't choose to go for the spear stun duration, even though they already lack a lot of stuns. Interesting. But still, the only two lockdowns they already have is an arrow and a spear. Maybe Rave King stun, but it's so slow. And for Nullifier. So what is Nullifier good against here? Are there any Aeon Discs out? Puck has one. Scepter and an Aeon Disc. Um, I guess it's a decent pickup. I'd rather see like an Abyssal Blade, to be honest, just to be able to catch heroes. The problem is Nullifier won't help you fight this Luna at all. An easy shot. They... Benny Ant. Right now they just need to perhaps out-execute these team fights. The key spell from what I've seen, it, it seems to be this Ice Blast. If they can land that with a chain stun, they can blow up any door. 100%. Because Ice Vortex is also making heroes so squishy. The 24% increase in damage. They're gonna get off and wait. Perhaps Chan is gonna be what both teams are really eyeing off for the the next big clash. I don't know how to kill Ember Spirit now. It just finishes Lincoln's sphere, so you can't dual set up him on him anymore. It's gonna be a very tough kill. <laughs> Playing so far forward, able to just jump the back lines almost unafraid. He did die in that last fight doing so, and now he hits level 25. So <laughs> going for the fist charges. charges. Yeah, which is interesting. Usually he goes for the remnant charge. Wonder what made him go for the uh, fist this time around. Playing with the accent too. It's this game going much more for that kind of frontline ember. Perhaps with the Luna on your team, he just needs to be more of a frontliner. So that's what we're seeing often. He's got Luna yeah. and Puck, so if he's not going in, who does? It makes a lot of sense anyways, because they have to save. He's so great. Where's the detect? Can you get... Silence up. What's that? Just get hit by an arrow. He just gets blown up. Not the position he wants to be in. Now Makoto needs to be careful on the Emperor. Looking to run away. The Ice Blast flying on over. Makoto with the Lincolns gets clipped by the Ice Blast. Grab. Uh, looking to chase. Double damage TA. Can find anything here. They won't be able to. Love a Roche respawn and it Dyer's has respawned. A fast attack. Roche respawn for execution oh my God. with a TA. That's huge. I don't know if Radiant scouted out yet. The punk Radiant are not in the neighborhood to go in orbit and they scan it out. So maybe now they get an idea. Attack. They're going to send out some illusions perhaps, but. That's too fast. Need to buy back. Yeah, it's just dying too fast. Oh, high shots. <laughs> Keeps racing away. Can they steal it? Where's the Ember? Are they looking to go with the Kodo? Nope, he's too late for this one. It's already been claimed. Yaoi popped the BKB and everything. Just to make sure... Arrow? Time, so... Lagger. They're gonna turn this way. He has no BKB to notice. 
Right. They want to take this fight. Dream Assault pops his own BKB. He's looking to bring down the TA, get some full stuff away, but he's still going to go down even inside the Glimmer Cave. Chase is on now. They want more. They want Nico, and they'll get him. Dream Assault's holding the Eclipse. He's still got it for when his BKBs wear off. This Luna is a big, big problem. The Butterfly being completed now with the egg behind him to back him up. That's Yo, we know BKB. Breaking away, and yes, TA does not have the BKB for this fight. The Eclipse coming up, and it's being kind of, they get away from the Eclipse. So Dream Assault, not connected the way it's hoping, but still channeling it. Still gets the TA. And the end. Great ice shot. What's up? Everything's cool. He's stuck. He's trapped. No reincarnation. No buyback. It's a dead race king. And this might be game over here. What a great decision to take this fight despite them having Aegis cheese. I feel like a lot of oh. teams would not be just decisive. They knew they would win this fight because TA without BKB is nothing. That's what, you know, we've seen been missing is that that warmness in these SA qualifiers. Sometimes teams play too safe, but Boone's say. Screw it, you just got Aegis. We don't care, you wasted your TA BKB. We're gonna punish you. Now they're gonna get tier four towers and they're gonna force buybacks. Race King doesn't have one. They, they should know this. Yeah, they should know, it's on cooldown, so. Shadow Boom, may just be able to force the, the throne here. What connection? This is really to bad to defend. Yeah. Be After this tower is down. Time break kill is there. Arena coming out, Dream Assault gets the four star and the, with the beat with the Minotaur Horn, he gets out of the arena thanks to the horn. He didn't even have to get his BKB. A great play from him. And now Ember on the back line just so need them away where Luna works the build to more down. Next in line is gonna be the throw. Nico trying to stop it with the ball. With the bounces. Luna's just bouncing around off the throne. He can't do anything to stop this Luna. They try and flick in, they get the spear onto the racks. Luna in some trouble. He steals the BKB. Doesn't have to the throne. No, 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 no,